Hi everyone. Bloodborne 3 will be releasing on February 23rd, 2023. And you can play it on PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One. A Nintendo Switch version will also be coming at a later date. After years of development and many discussions with you via beta and playtest, the team can't wait to watch you play your first matches. Bloodborne 3 is the most ambitious game in the series, and its release is just the start of the adventure. One of our goals is for you to play Bloodborne 3 for many years to come. That's why, after the game's releases, a dedicated team will continue to work on the game to improve its stability and fix any technical issues that may arise. This team will also create new content, add new factions, cosmetic items and features, and support the competitive aspect of the game. We were willing to delay the game's release to meet our quality expectations, and these high standards will continue to guide our vision after launch. We wanted to improve various things that many of the community had feedback on with Blood Bowl 2, including how new factions were acquired after launch. In Blood Bowl 3, it will all be based on a season system. There will be a new season every three months, coming with a major update that will add a wide variety of content and features, as well as introducing a new faction, which will be added to the 12 already present at launch, and a new Blood Pass. The Blood Pass consists of 50 reward tiers that you move up through as you play matches. At certain tiers, you unlock free rewards. You can also choose the paid version of the Blood Pass to instantly acquire the new faction and gain access to lots of additional rewards that can be unlocked at each tier. We wanted to implement a system that is more rewarding for you than the DLC system was in Blood Bowl 2. That's why Blood Bowl 3 will be cheaper than Blood Bowl 2 on its release. And the Blood Pass will have lots of content with a variety of rewards to customize your teams and players. We also wanted to allow everyone to enjoy the new faction. Even without upgrading your Blood Pass to the paid version, you can still acquire the new faction for free by reaching the last tier during the current season. As you already understood, with Blood Bowl 3, we wanted to return to the board game's roots by putting an emphasis on customization. As well as the Blood Pass, there will be many ways to acquire additional items by completing achievements, reaching different levels, and using Warp Stone, the in game virtual currency. You can earn Warp Stone as a free reward and you can also buy it directly. This currency can be spent in the in game shop which offers more advanced customization items and options. Please note that customization is optional and purely cosmetics. Your Black Ox will not hit harder and your catchers will not run faster. Customization does not confer any advantage on the field, except having the most stylish team, perhaps. In Blue Ball 3, more than ever, we want to put the emphasis on multiplayer. Every season will have a competitive component with an official ladder added. This ladder will be in version 1.0 at launch, and a more comprehensive system will be implemented in the following seasons. You can therefore enjoy ranked games against other players of the same level to climb the ladder and unlock exclusive rewards. The more competitive among you can also satisfy your hunger for glory by taking part in occasional tournaments. Although we wanted to offer an official ladder, this doesn't mean that we are forgetting the many Blood Bowl communities that continue to compete against each other in previous games. The league system will be there at launch, and various tools are also being developed to help organize competitions. To sum up, Blood Bowl 3 will use the season system. The start of a new season will be accompanied by a major update, including a new faction that can be unlocked for free during the season, or instantly acquired with the paid version of the Blood Pass. But a new season will also come with new features, new content, and the launch of a new competitive season. We are thrilled to be bringing you such extensive post-launch content and can't wait to tell you more about the details of Season 1 and how the official ladder works. See you on the pitch on February 23rd, 2023.